Why are morning cigars some of the best cigars you will ever smoke? You are watching Oakland Tobacconist. If you're interested in the Anniversario Connecticut, the new blend from Aganor Salif, or many other Aganor Salif cigars, check us out, you know where to find us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Make certain that you hit that bell to make certain you are alerted anytime that we produce new content. If you're like myself, you may enjoy more than just one cigar or possibly two cigars a day. If that's the case, sometimes you can get what is known as palate callus, and it's as you smoke on through the day, perhaps if you enjoy particular blends or even like heavier, fuller body, fuller strength cigars, sometimes your palate can get a little worn out and it becomes a bit difficult to pick out certain flavor notes as the day wears on and the more cigars that are lit up. And that's why it's really important too that if you enjoy a diverse set of cigars, know exactly what to smoke and perhaps when to according to your own palate. I know for me personally, I really enjoy like kind of heavier hitting, stronger Nicaraguan blends that has a little bit of spice and pepper going on, a little bit of sweetness, maybe earth and leather kind of mixed within there as well. However, that doesn't mean sometimes I smoke mild cigars. In fact, I do on occasion and oftentimes it is the first cigar that I have of the day. And the reason it's so important, in fact, I've told this to many people here at the shop as well, my favorite cigar oftentimes can be the first cigar I have of the day, especially with a cup of coffee as your palate is warming up, and there are reasons for this. After you've given your palate a chance to rest hours during the night or whenever you sleep, as it were, and you light up that first cigar after that sort of like resting period, you're attuned to more flavor notes that you can pick out and sometimes even more uh, subtle tones, subtle notes, ones that may not be able to be picked out if you're on cigar number three. With that stated, some of my favorite experiences have been mild cigars that I've paired with coffee as my palate warms up and kind of gets ready for the day it was before perhaps I go into work or if it's on my day off or on vacation. And so that really like rich coffee that's balanced with the cigar itself, oftentimes a mild or a medium is like one of my favorite moments to have a cigar. Really what has impressed me this year for 2023 is the new release from Aganor Salif, the Anniversario Connecticut. The very cream of the crop when it comes to all their tobaccos. Their Anniversario line now consists of a Corojo, a Maduro, and now an Ecuadorian shade-grown Connecticut. This Connecticut is over a binder and fillers from Jalapa and Esteli, Nicaragua, and it has such a like diverse set of flavors, such as a little bit of vanilla, like roasted cashew nuts, a little bit of cedar in there as well, but also this like creamy sweet finish that as a part of the day, like the beginning portion of the day, especially if it's your day off or vacation, lighting this cigar up is an, a must. You have those dynamic flavors. They're more subtle, it's more mild, but at the same time, so full in flavor. So it's not gonna leave you like that empty type of like feeling when you have a cigar and it's just like newspaper smoke or it's very wispy and it's very unsatisfying. Those creamy notes, those sweeter notes really complement something like a cup of coffee and really help your palate to wake up. It's not in your nose or blast of uh, pepper when you're retrohaling. It's silky, it's smooth, it's diverse, it's flavorful. Something that I really enjoy. This was originally released at the PCA trade show and it's an excellent morning cigar. In fact, I, I had taken some samples home. I lit one up about halfway through. I immediately had to call and place my order. It's released in a few uh, sizes. This is the Robusto Grande, a five by 54, and then also it comes in a six uh, and a quarter by 52 Toro as well. The packaging is amazing, but also it's one of those like perfect warming up your palate cigars. Please drop down in the comments, what are some of the cigars you really enjoy for the first cigar of the day, or as you're warming up your palate, or perhaps the only cigar of the day, what are some of your favorites that you really like to enjoy? Maybe with a cup of coffee, or maybe with something else. But it is the beginning portion of your smoking day. As always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Oakland Tobacconist.